I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. All right. So today we are up bright and early. Well, it's not even bright yet. It's just early. And we are heading out. So where do you think we're going to go? I guess you're never going to guess. Okay, maybe you'll guess. Are we going to go here, Acadia, or here, Las Vegas? Acadia, Las Vegas. We're going to Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. So being East Coast people, it's not just like you can drive there in a day. So this is going to take us three days to get there. We're kind of crazy and very overachieving and going to try to go 16 hours the first two days and the last 12 hours last day. So buckle up. Stay along for the ride. <laughs> Okay, but before we sign off on this clip, um, we do have a special guest. Sadly, it is not going to be Willow, but this guest I think is going to be much more fun to travel with. So, please welcome Mama, Mama Grove. Grove. <laughs> so, we're going to have uh, Mark's mom here traveling with us throughout this cross-country trip and all the way back as well. So, Mark picked her up last night at the train station as I was doing, you know, all that last minute packing that we always find ourselves doing and so here we go here we 4 go a.m and we're at a hundred percent charge because we're leaving from home and we're using that percentage right away and not just letting it sit at a hundred so yep. the car is pretty heavy we have a lot of clothing to last mm -hmm. the week some water you know gatorade electrolytes things like that so gotta get all those goods and then but hopefully on the way back it'll be a lot less weight and everything so we'll fly right back hopefully yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. So we are about um, 13 minutes into our drive here today. And um, we just got this fun message that I'll have a picture of. And it said, to reach your destination, stay below 75 miles an hour. And we're only going 46 miles an hour. So that's not very uh, good to start off the day. But it was fun to see a new feature of the car. So I've done a lot of prepping to get our superchargers lined up and to see where we're gonna go and where we're gonna need to stop. And I'm already kind of sad that my first destination stop that we were gonna do, I know it's not a destination charger, that's not what I mean. The first destination that we wanted to get to, we can't get to. So there's a lot of factors that go into that, of course, but Marky, any comments? Well, we, uh, we clearly didn't plan for the weight and no. um, <laughs> Yeah, the car is fully loaded. We can show a picture of the trunk. It's great. The trunk is loaded. Mm -hmm. The car is packed. And it is also 28 degrees. So we're definitely going to have to uh, add a couple more stops for charging. Hopefully, maybe some quick stops so we can still get to where we were trying to go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's an adventure already. Already. 13 minutes in. All right. So we are at our first supercharger stop. Um, <laughs> According to my list, we should have been able to make it a little farther to Virginia, but we had to stop in West Virginia as we were down to 7% and we had to stop at the Sheets, which is not my preferred stop store. But um, a fun fact about Sheets is that they have these really cool drive through places. You can see that over there. So that was very different than um, Wawa, but I know it's coming. Wawa, that's great. It's exciting stuff. Yeah, we've seen a few. Stuff. We've seen a few. But Sheets is just a whole different world, whole different country than Wawa. They even had, um, what was it, refill or reload beer pong kits? You know, oh, like with just red solo cups, two kits. more beer pong balls. Yeah. Something you wouldn't, I don't think you would ever see at Wawa. <laughs> Although <laughs> anyway. they are selling alcohol at Wawa. Yes, so. they are selling alcohol at Wawa. So. Yeah. So Why yeah, not? we didn't make it as far as we had yeah. hoped. Uh, obviously, the weather being so cold so and the cold. weight that we have loaded the car to yeah. did affect it. Yeah. The rough estimated range this morning was a 334. We happened to go 200. Yeah. So yeah, definitely some factors. But yeah, it like it was 28 degrees when we left our house, but 24. it was 24 as we were traveling here today. So yeah. it was going down in the weather, and we're hoping that now that the sun's out, it will get warmer and that we won't lose as much range so that we don't have to stop as many places but we'll see how this day goes but we are still on track to arrive at our destination at 8 30 which i was really excited about because 16 hours in a car that's a long time and that's why we're out walking we have to walk each step each, each trip you know get that natural caffeine pulsing through our bodies again get that heart rate up get the body moving so here we are back at the car charging 
And um, when we pulled in, I said, Mark, why are you getting back in the car? Aren't you charging? He said, I pulled into the wrong spot. The wrong spot. So he was over here. He needed to be over here. It was funny. So here we are. We're going to go and eat our breakfast because it's 730 in the morning. And we're back on the road. It looks 24, 25 degrees out. And some guy is getting a car wash at 730 in the morning when it's only in the 20s. Crazy little guy. We just got done with charging stop number one. We charged up to 90% so we could eat breakfast and travel as far as we could on this next leg. And I just want to say, I was very surprised at the Sheets food. I have always heard so many bad things, especially being an East Coast Pennsylvania guy and not a West Coast Pennsylvania guy. Uh, that's like the rivalry, Sheets versus Wawa. It wasn't bad. The, the food that we got was actually pretty good overall and uh, pretty happy with it. So yeah, go Sheets. Well, we had a successful second charge just now. I forgot to mention earlier that our first charge in West Virginia was $19.95. And this one just finished to, can you oh, push the little car on the left-hand side at the bottom and then charge? And scroll down. And this charge, there we go, sixteen ninety three. So I'm gonna write that down on my little thing. Another fun thing that I like to do in the car, bless you, Thank you. is the license plate game. So I you know you see the license plate and you check it off. So let's see how many we've done already. Nineteen. Nineteen out of fifty states. And I saw Ontario too. So that was pretty exciting. But anyway, this is what I do in the car to keep myself occupied and awake because you know this place is like a rocking chair. Love this car. Um and another fun thing we just saw was when we pulled up to these chargers here in Virginia, there was four out of the six available spots were all blue. Blue Teslas. Whether it was a S, a 3, a Y, and an X, it was crazy, but they were all blue. I've never seen all of them the same color, and especially blue oh, yeah, of all of them, because white is standard, black is standard, but blue you had to pay for, so all those lucky people, they played yeah. for their extra color, <laughs> and they all showed up here with blue, and then we ruined it with our white Tesla, of course, so that was fun. But it was very interesting, and even yeah. another guy got out and told us that, hey, this is weird. <laughs> Even little Lexington here. So, yeah, it was very fun. So, we're on the road again. Next stop, we'll hit up some grub, get some lunch and our bellies, and then we will be heading out to our final stop or state for the day, which is Tennessee. So, we just got done our third leg of the trip, and we're still in Virginia. But this time, mother in law drove. Yes, it was amazing. Um, my first time driving on a highway in an electric car. I felt very safe. I did have a little incident with two tractor trailers. I kind of held my breath and made my daughter-in-law and son very nervous, but we got through it. We breathed. We breathed. We breathed. Yep. But the driving in that car is incredible. I did like the feature that it slows itself down. I had to get used to that, but the car drives really nice and it goes fast. <laughs> Yeah, and so we're here in, what, Lexington? No, last stop was Lexington. Oh, this Atkins. Was Atkins. Atkins, yes. uh, Virginia. And uh, this charging station is also at a hotel. This hotel appears to be uh, out of service, but the charging works perfect. And fancy, they have a trash can. Yes! First it time we've so ever been exciting. to a charging location that has a trash can. So that was very nice to be able to get out and put our trash away. Like, not in a trash can that's, like, for the building that it's at, but actual, like, trash can for the charger people. So, that was very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting stuff here. Trash cans. Improvements. We had a great stroll around that last hotel there. It actually was occupied. There was cars on the other side of the hotel, so that was kind of nice. Maybe they put people in those rooms so that our Tesla lights don't bother those rooms there. But, anyway... It was nice. And now we uh, found some food for ourselves, some Sonic, woohoo. We're gonna dig on in and get fueled up. But that charge over there was $15.56, so not too bad. You know, we're going over almost 200 miles each time at this point, so. And now it's also up to 50 degrees, so that's great and very exciting because now hopefully our range will last longer than it has been all morning because it was really chilly out. So we're enjoying the sunshine, going to enjoy this food, and then we'll hop back on the highway.
All right, yep. Yeah. Time to uh, break out a little rain. Some energy drinks. And, uh, and drive on. <laughs> So we just used this 250 supercharger and um, <laughs> in Knoxville, Tennessee, we are in a new state. We are all charged up. I got coffee to really charge me up. Um, and fun fact, we used every single one of us used a different restroom at a different location. So thank you, Knoxville. That was and, great. And because it is getting warmer, it's now 56 degrees. Uh, this morning we were doing about 356 water, watt hours per mm -hmm. mile, which was about three, three miles per kilowatt hour. Terrible. This afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, because we're getting a warmer climate, we're doing about 255 watt mm -hmm. hours per mile, which translates about 3.9 miles so per kilowatt hour. So we're almost at four, so that's where we like to be at. So that um, cold air this morning really, really slowed us down, which was not planned. So no <laughs> noticeable change. Uh, weight didn't really change in the car, but temperature did. So temperature, greater effect than weight. And this charge in Knoxville cost us $14.73. So we'll do a daily total at the end when we get to our hotel for the evening and see how much this has been. All right, guys, we are in Nashville, Tennessee now. Woo! Wow. But um, it did get up to 51 degrees. It just changed 51 degrees today. Um, but a fun fact that Mark doesn't even know because he just joined me back in the car from plugging us in here was before we plugged in on the screen, it said, we recommend you charging right now because there, due to temperature, you are going to experience significant battery loss. I was shocked. Huh. I couldn't believe it. I like couldn't whip my phone out fast enough to even get a picture of it before it went away because he plugged us in right then. So it was like, I, I just missed the moment, but it was crazy that the car knew that it was going to get colder and that we weren't going to make it. But it did also say that to arrive at our hotel tonight, we were going to arrive at negative 32%. So Holy smokes. we got to charge up We're we plugged in at 17%. So and also there yeah. was a wait here but it was really cool i was waiting on one air the way this charger set up it's it had L, one on here an l shape an l shape exactly yep. yeah she was very <laughs> smart and um so i was waiting on one edge of it and morgan was on another edge of it and a guy came by and said are you waiting i said yes yeah. so i followed him to his spot he pulled out we pulled in so yeah, was it, it slightly yeah. inconvenient? Sure, we had to wait a few, but. And luckily that guy was nice because honestly there was a Model Y that pulled in way after we've been waiting and it looked like they were trying to be a little bit of a snake and cut us in line because there was two areas to wait in. So yeah. that really makes it difficult as to who's next in line and where does that line begin? Right. So there's still some, you know, work that Tesla or us as EV owners need to work on to figure out the best method. But this site, as Mark said, did you say it's under construction? I did not say there's that. There's actually construction happening, which is kind of frightening because, you know, this is like high powered and all that kind of stuff. But they are putting in 16 more supercharger stops in this little L because the guy that we were talking to over there too he said that this is the most popular um ev stop here in nashville tennessee so yeah. they obviously need more locations and it's a great place it has a kroger grocery store so there's a lot to do and things that you would need here so and it's right off the highway so yeah i could see how it's the most popular yeah it's a, it's a highly trafficked station tesla realized that and they're putting in 16 more on top of the eight that are already here so mm -hmm. great job tesla keep up the good work on tracking you know high use high frequency supercharging stations yeah and it's a 250 kilowatt hour charger so even though we um need to go up probably like 70 percent into our battery pack that's only going to take 14 minutes so he ran to the bathroom already because i waited to make sure we didn't miss our spot in line so i'm going to go do that now too and then we're going to get some grub for dinner and then we're going to head out to our hotel so um, we'll see how much this one costs and then rope up the day when we get in for the night. So we said that we were going to Kroger's, which is now behind us, and we use their facilities. Thank you, Kroger. And um, another cool thing about this Nashville store is right up here. I've never, ever seen anything like this. Never. And honestly, I've always wondered how grocery store associates do get trained and what kind of training that they receive because 
you think it looks kind of easy, but there's probably a lot of details that us average humans just don't really know or consider. And so here is their Kroger training center. As you can see, it looks like you're about to walk into a store, but there's literally like probably no real people allowed in there as it's all just training. And they probably learn how to stock the shelves appropriately and how to use the cash register and where the carts go and all that crazy stuff. It's just really neat. Right, Mark? Yeah, I thought it was pretty, pretty dope. <laughs> and then since we were here and gonna show you that, we wanted to show you all the construction. So we were initially parked here, waiting for one of these three Tesla chargers to open up. However, they did not open up for us in time. And then finally over on this side of the L, the longer side, this has all of the other chargers. And there goes that pretty red S. And here comes the bases, probably where they attach all the chargers to it. All that, look at that. All this construction, and dig up, and there's our baby. And look at that, it's crazy. My belly is on fire. So what we're all talking about here is this <laughs> oh, amazing no, don't, don't start now. Um, Hattie B's hot chicken, because you oh, can't come to Nashville without getting some hot chicken, of course. So it was superb. I have a picture here for you all to see my amazing meal. And I think Mark took a picture of... I did take a picture of my chicken tenders. Yes, chicken it tenders. was fantastic. And here's the thing. If you say you're going to have hot chicken, it better be hot. Hot. So I got... Real the, hot. I got one below the hottest one. Yeah, I'm a wimp, but I still have to drive here. And you also have to like kind of enjoy your meal and not just like feel like your mouth is yeah. dying inside. And yeah. it was hot. Don't get me wrong. Like I got a little campfire belly going on. <laughs> I was mouth. looking at him across the table and I was like, um, I hope he doesn't have a heart attack because he's <laughs> almost near the verge of sweating profusely. So <laughs> he was sweating. I could see the sweat, but it was sure was hot i think it was it was hot it was absolutely delicious and honestly i did try a piece because i don't want to be a wimp either so i tried it and it was good it was a good flavor but then it just hit you right in the throat it just hit you and you're like oh oh no need a drink yeah so serious <laughs> shout out to hattie b's nashville hot chicken it was incredible check if out down four here, locations in nashville alone and you, more all over the country you have to stop by and get it if you, and you want to see the full review <laughs> check out grove grubbin yeah. g-r-o-v-e-g-r-u-b-b-i-n so let's get back to the car okay car stuff yes at our so, last charge we did we uh, 65 percent yes and now we're down to 61 percent this was only a 10 minutes away from the actual charger so i feel like we probably lost a percent from the cold it's now back down to 51 we left at 53 so it is cooling off now that the sun's gone down which is a sad thing to say but it'll come back out tomorrow yeah and then that and so cost was... of charging was oh yeah let's get that in here of course go away Eleven fifty-five. so again not bad but again we also only charge from 17 to 65 so we didn't go all the way up to our normal 80 percent at that one but it was a 250 so it went super fast for us off to the hotel. So yes, uh, back on Hattie B's. Other than the amazing chicken, the desserts were also absolutely. What are you doing? The window just popped oh, the open. window's a magical <laughs> window. <laughs> um, no, the desserts were absolutely incredible. So we got a peach cobbler, which was absolutely delicious. But you I have to ask for one, ice right? cream. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely delicious. And then I, being the person I am, I love bananas. You will know that if you watch the South Carolina video and you see the drink that I had. So I got the banana pudding, thinking that it was just gonna be banana flavored pudding. Uh-uh, completely wrong. It was literally mashed bananas. Now, does it sound disgusting on the front disgusting. end? Disgusting. Sure, but it was absolutely incredible. And Mama Grove can attest to that yes. because I gave her some. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was so good. If you like bananas, how can you go wrong with mashed bananas and like marshmallow topping? And it was incredible. Oh, and, and wafers. Gross. <laughs> I just feel like I need to puke now. So Stop. here in Dixon, Tennessee, getting some charge before heading over to the hotel. Uh, the hotel does have charging, but we'll see if it's available when we get there. The ladies are not feeling walking around after that big meal. I am the exact opposite. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get out of the car and walk and get some water. 
but man, that food was incredible. So we're gonna get a little bit of charge here. I'm gonna walk around. They're gonna hang out and just, I don't know, chat. And uh, yeah, then we'll be on the road to our hotel. We're having an amazing time and uh, we absolutely love Tennessee. It's been awesome. It's so good to hang out with family and friends and just enjoy an amazing meal. And uh, yeah, the trip's going awesome. So let's uh, keep praying for a good trip. All right guys, so just finish up that charge in Dixon, Tennessee. We, uh, it cost us $9.22. We're gonna finish this uh, last part of today, which is our drive to our hotel. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away, up an hour and 29, uh, an hour and 20 minutes away. So we're gonna go there and we'll see if we can plug in. Oh my gosh, it is freezing out there, but I had to get some walking in because that chicken and it's just, campfire belly the whole time got a nice water here nice uh collectible cup and uh we're gonna continue our drive good morning good it morning day two day two <laughs> uh. we arrived uh technically at our time midnight last night but it was 11 p.m here but it was well worth it we got to meet up with some family friends that i just consider family so it was awesome that we got to see them in tex in tennessee and now we're heading off to texas today um, but when we pulled in last night, we knew that this hotel had chargers, two of them, J1772s. Um, and I was hoping that we could use them, you know, it's just an amenity that the hotel offers kindly enough for us EV users. Um, and so we pulled in and this is what we found. We found the green lines here on the ground and a non-EV and the green line on the ground, the chargers right here and a non-EV. And that is just very frustrating. It's like when you pull up to a parking lot. Oh, hello, puppy. Hi. <laughs> no. How are ya? <laughs> so it's like when you pull up to a parking space and, you know, it's for handicapped people. And you don't park there. There's other spots available. See, one right over there or over there. Like, there's plenty of other parking. But yet, they had to park where we should be parking. So that was really frustrating to see as we pulled in at 11 o'clock last night. Okay, so thankfully there are 25 foot cords and yes. we were able to plug in. And luckily and this spot was open, otherwise I would ask the hotel, hey, do you know who these cars belong to? Because we really would like to charge. And with the charge last night, we are now up to 95, 98, maybe 96, something like 90. that, Not over 90. because. Without that, we wouldn't have been up at that rate of charge. We can now go farther this morning without having to charge. So it's just a great, great feature that we were looking for as we were booking the hotels to come out here. Yeah, and so because this is J1772 and not Tesla native uh, connector, what you need to do is you need to purchase the J1772 lock for the connector. So what I'll, I will show you that now. So as you can see here, you have this plastic piece which locks the connector to the J, uh, sorry, the adapter to the J1772 connector. Because without this, you go ahead and you plug in. Okay, you plugged in, car's charging, and you go ahead and you go inside and you go to sleep. And somebody comes by and he walks by and he goes, click and takes your whole thing out. Now, he wouldn't be able to take the adapter out if the car was locked. The car is currently unlocked because we're getting ready to go. Hey guys, so we are on the road here in Nashville, Tennessee, no, Jackson, Tennessee, and look how beautiful this roadway is. Perfectly paved, not a single pothole in sight. Beautiful lighting, the road is painted well. Everyone in the world and or the country of the United States needs to take note at how gorgeous this road is. It is absolutely gorgeous. Please enjoy this next few moments of this road. Sonic has a dog park. 
So if we had Miss Willow here with us, we would obviously get her out, get her running, chasing some ball. Um, and then also over there, you see that little red um, covering, that patio also has a screen for the owners to then order their breakfast, their food, whatever, and then they can bring it to them while they watch their dog play. And I just thought that was awesome, Miss Willow. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen a Sonic dog park because literally the Sonic that's by us is just off the highway. There's not like land. Like look at all this land over here. So I guess you're in the country when you have some land. Cool thing about Arkansas, speed limit is 75. Whoa. So that was pretty nice. <laughs> so now we're, yeah, we're charging up here in Brinkley, Arkansas. And we'll let you know about the charge cars. Yeah. And, um... Another fun thing is, remember yesterday I started the license plate game? Yesterday we were able to obtain 27 of the 50 license plates, plus two others like Washington DC and Ontario. So that was all fun and we're hoping to get some more today. We already did get one, so that's exciting stuff. So we just got done charging in Brinkley and we charged up to 92% because it wanted us to go all the way out to Van Buren, Arkansas, which I was like, that's pretty far. I don't think we're gonna make it. And I knew that there was one in Ozark, Arkansas. So we are heading there and it says we're gonna arrive at 9%. So we're gonna go from 92% down to 9% all that way. I think that's crazy. We really don't do that. Oh, it just changed to 10%. So that means it's also getting warmer. Remember that. So it was 42 earlier and now we're up to 46. So it is almost up to 50, which is a pretty comfortable one for the car. Um, but yeah, so that charge was $14.66, I believe. Yeah, what a day. We are at the Ozarks station. Uh, there's a Workman's, which is a very large, like, convenient store with everything you can imagine. They a restaurant and a bars. deli. Yeah. yeah, and souvenirs and all sorts of stuff. So we're charging here, and like the other one had a trash can. These actually have window washers and trash cans. So that's a lot better. It's an improvement. Never have seen windows. a window cleaner. That's only for gas stations, but this one, superb. Just got finished charging. We did charge up to 90% so that we could continue on but however that's still not gonna be enough to make it to the next charger so I am eating my little snack here popcorn I got my Gatorade for the road so that we are gonna make it and then we'll have lunch later even though it's already 12 o'clock here it's one o'clock at our normal home and this charge by the way costs sixteen dollars and seventy three cents so quite a lot cheaper than a whole tank of gas so yeah, that's where we're at today. It's pretty warm also. It's got up to 55 degrees. Yay. A lot warmer than this morning. So it's beautiful out and we're going to continue on and we're going to reach Oklahoma next. So we are now in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Can't believe it. Almost all the way across the country here. Two days. So um, we pulled up to the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Charger, and it's in the outlets. It's pretty cool. But um, for the first time ever, Mark wanted me to show you this. We went into the red zone. So at 7%, it came into the red. Um, obviously, we need charging to reach our destination because it's already started to calculate the um, distance to our next charger, which is Shamrock, Texas. Um, but yeah. And this one does have, unfortunately, a broken charger. I don't know how long it's going to be broken for, but it's broken currently. Mark has been a worry wart the whole time getting here. So that's been fun to deal with because who wants to deal with someone that's cranky and worried while you're stuck in the car with them? Right? Right. So just got to take some deep breaths and we are just waiting for someone to leave. Luckily, um, even though the vehicle has been saying that there's been a wait here almost all day we've been looking at it and now just says that there's less than a five minute wait time so but now i'm looking over there and i see that there's another tesla charge tesla that's waiting to charge too so i don't know i don't know if they were here first i'm gonna roll down my window now and talk with mark about what we're doing we are charged up and our bellies are charged up with a real whataburger watch yes. the last video to see that faux pas <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am no longer 
hangry or slangry. <laughs> slangry is a new term I just made up for when I'm sleep deprived. I get a little sleep uh, deprived and angry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we charged up. Uh, that charge cost us twenty one sixty eight. Yeah, but that's because we went from again seven percent up to ninety, and this is a one fifty, and it was fully loaded here with all the cars, so it was working overtime here. So. Yeah. And honestly, this was also, this charger didn't tell us like, hey, this is very active. You can't charge all the way up to that percentage, which I was really shocked about because we did get that message when we were in South Carolina, um, the last video. So, was that the last video? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's not gonna be well, it's like video. two videos ago. Yeah. Two videos ago. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Or three. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. People, edit the world that. is moving faster than I can even process. Let's oh, be real. Okay. So. Anywho, we are on our way now. We are going to be crossing the border from Oklahoma into Texas, woo which, woohoo, everything's better and bigger in Texas. Isn't that what they say? So we're going to try to experience that ourselves. We are in Texas, big wild Texas. And it is just really cool because if you watched our previous videos, um, we were in South Carolina and we said that there was pull through stations. Well, that is what this one is. And I was so excited to see it again because I love it. I just think it's so cool that it had different types of charging locations. <sighs> so cool. So there's another Model Y there charging. What do you think of Texas so far? Um, I don't know. I spent most of the day in Oklahoma, but <laughs> <laughs> now we're in Texas. It's pretty cool. Definitely. A lot more to see so far. Yeah, all Texas. this stuff says Texas 66, like Route 66. So apparently this may have been the old and OG Route 66 that used to go through. Like, look at this creepy little doodad thing of fixing yeah. a truck. I don't know about that. I don't know what can be trusted around here. Well, there is one thing I can say. What? It is nice. It is 68 degrees. It was 72 it was 73 degrees. I 73 I saw. 73 was yeah. our top uh, degree Temperature. Today, so. It's beautiful. I think tomorrow I won't need pants. I mean, I'll need <laughs> some type of under shorts. Yeah, shorts. All right. So apparently I am a wimp, and I went back for my jacket because it's a bit windy. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, it is gorgeous. It's 68 degrees. It's just a little windy, as you can see here by my hair it's through the wind. Shoes. And there was a hole there. Just missing sidewalk. You know. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I said I was going through Oklahoma most of today and throughout that drive, pretty much all we saw was cattle. cattle. And so I had, I had to research, I was like, well, Texas has got to be the biggest one, you know, Texas Longhorns, they got to be the most cattle producing state in the U.S. And that is correct. They are number one. But guess what number two is? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> So yeah, pretty much driving through there, you just see cows cattle on, cows on everywhere. Cows. And the cows the other way. Cows. All the cows. All the cows. I usually say moo as I pass yeah. by cows. Well, that stopped like the first hour. Yeah. So we saw way too many cows to say moo every time. <laughs> I didn't want to be that person. Lots of moosies. Lots of moosies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this location is, is pretty cool. You know, with it being the pull through stations, I really like them. But I must say that the infrastructure does need to be improved. I mean. Oklahoma City to here. This was really the only charging location along our route. The other one was an hour and a half north. And so, you know, it wasn't an ideal situation. So yes, while I do love my electric lifestyle, the infrastructure does need to be improved, especially if we're gonna keep promoting it. So we are about to leave Shamrock, Texas, a very cute, cute, historic little town. And this charge was $18.47. And now we're gonna go to Amarillo, Texas for the night. And we're either, we might hit up the supercharger there, but it's saying we're gonna arrive with 40%. So we'll probably do yeah. a little charge there just so that it's higher. And then we can get over 80% at the hotel for free. Sadly, the license plate game is done for the night, but we only have like 11 states left to find. So once tomorrow's over, then we'll start it all over again. Yep. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right, guys. So we had just arrived at our hotel tonight. Luckily, they had one charger, one Tesla charger for this hotel. And they, we luckily are the first Tesla here. So we have um, won that battle. Not as a battle, but <laughs> anyway, we also, um, before we got ice cream for the evening, we went and got our car washed because today I was behind this 
tractor trailer and it said it was carrying bulls and I was like oh that's pretty cool and then all of a sudden I was like why is that tire smoking I think they're gonna lose their tire but then I was like it's getting our car wet that's weird that's not smoke then I was like oh my gosh there are bulls in there what's the only thing that would be wet as it comes out of that truck pee so then when we stopped our car was speckled with yellowness and it was disgusting and so I said work we have to get a car wash tonight so we did that unfortunately we had to do it manually you know with those super power washer things to ourselves because we don't trust the rolly ones and all that so we did it ourselves which was fine not expensive at all but that was actually really it was affordable. very windy yeah. so that added to the fun i guess yeah. you could say yeah so we're gonna get some sleep we're gonna plug into the tesla uh connector out here and uh we'll see y'all in the morning Good morning. Good morning! Day three, and we are on our last leg of this trip. We are going to be in Vegas at some point today. It's going to feel like nothing after the days that we've been putting in. But so awesome again at this hotel. We had a Tesla destination charger. Sometimes we screw up the destination for super, but this is a Tesla destination charger. So, unlike what we had to use to the other hotel with J1772, no adapter. You just got the Tesla connector here beautiful tesla connector nice so and much sleek. better and then you just go and wind it up we got a hundred percent state of charge so we got yeah, i wanted to show people. them look this is beautiful sight in the morning 100 percent trees it is windy as all get out as morgan would say i've never said that term but she would say that I would. it is so windy like you have to fight the wind it's so cold because of the wind it's it's crazy yeah so i put pants back on and uh now i have a winter hat on and so we're charging up here in santa rosa it's a 150 so you know it might take a little longer but luckily there's only just two of us here at this huge thing but let's see what this one has so we have these pull-in ones that we stopped with last night in shamrock and then over there there's the back end ones but look at this ice <laughs> i can't believe it like how obnoxious like i understand you have a big rig but you're also at a hotel like you could just uh sleep in there and not park in all the supercharger spots luckily there's a lot of people that aren't traveling today on this you know cold chilly day in mexico but yeah, and uh, another fact is there's nothing here. It's just I'm starving. Yeah, I'm really starving. We're gonna go for a walk and see if we can find something. But... Food and coffee. Yes. Oh my gosh. So guys, we just got done breakfast at Pilot. I was yeah. not expecting us to even eat here because it's a drug stop, but man, was I surprised. And that place has everything. So forget just your normal bathroom and a little bit of convenient food. It's got showers. It's got laundry. Um, Subway out. and Cinnabon were in there too, which yeah. was very nice and unexpected. But the food from it's like good. just the regular area, I had well, a from pizza. Pilot, was yeah. Delicious. And I had a breakfast pizza. Who yeah. doesn't want breakfast? I mean, a pizza for breakfast at nine in the morning. The wind is so brutal. Like we're just wimps. The wind is bad. It's New Mexico, bad wind, I guess. <laughs> Um, but something really cool happening over here in the corner. Oh, we'll they are still there. Oh, man. We're yeah. going to take a hike here. And there was a trailer as we were coming in and it had cars that were covered. Covered. And I said, Mark, those are some kind of odd looking cars. Like, why do you think they're all like covered up? Like, it's so, like, obviously they're probably new cars. And so that's why they're covered up. But they looked weird. Like, they weren't normal, like, you know, Chevys. They weren't like. Everyone that tells me the electric future is not going to happen, 
You're just wrong. I'm sorry. You're wrong. It's coming. Get ready for it because it's on its way. But there they are, the Pole Stars. So Pole Star is the electric vehicle for Volvo, and it's its own brand. And these are all Pole Star twos, brand new Pole Star twos on this trailer. Absolutely incredible. If you don't want to buy a Tesla, I would highly recommend looking into Pole Star. It's an excellent vehicle. Back in the car, away from all that wind, the um car just said strong winds forecasted from the west where are we driving west no so, kidding huge headwind that we have going for us today and well not going for us it's really hindering us and mm -hmm. then the charge that we just did at this 150 in santa rosa new mexico was 17 dollars maybe two cents so that is that and we are about to go to albuquerque which they have 16 superchargers there so that is super exciting and i can't wait to see all of those well, Albuquerque, here we are. New Mexico. Woohoo! 16 superchargers. One here for those Putlin people. You know, just one. With trailers. With trailers, that's usually why they have that, but it doesn't really make sense. And honestly, this one little thing kind of confused me right away. I don't know. Hold on. Fire lane. For what? The tree? The closest building is like all the way over there or all the way over there. I don't know why there'd be a fire lane all the way out here. For your brother. I need to ask my brother, apparently. He's the firefighter. So, yeah, so we made it. Um, no worries, no problems, no snow. That was honestly the biggest worry as we travel. So, through these mountains, mountainous regions. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go Red find clay. some real no coffee. <laughs> some real coffee. Not pilot coffee. Sorry, pilot. That was the one downside. I don't know how those truckers do with your coffee. It was not good. <laughs> That's the one improvement, pilot. <laughs> Sorry. Alrighty, so here we are charging up and we will get back. Oh, we're back in the car again. Uh, and duh. obviously this But we got our bouginess, you know? Some matcha, matcha frappuccino and I got a peppermint mocha ice latte thing. Yeah. And um this was at an outlet, which I love outlets. Oh, and yeah, I know, yeah. Okay. I broke my favorite spatula that I use every single morning scooping out our yogurt. And um, so they actually had a William Sonoma here. So I was able to replace my spatula on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> and as you know, in the Christmas video, I talked about my Oakleys, how much I loved them. But my mom, she got these new blender sunglasses. Yeah. So this is one of the pairs. So I'm trying them out. Let's see how they go. And uh, next stop is Gallup, Gallup, New Mexico. All right. So we are here in Gallup, New Mexico, getting a charge before heading on to Arizona. And in Gallup, they have a sign that says, most patriotic small town in America. Well, I come from Bristol, Rhode Island, which has the oldest running 4th of July parade in America. So I think we now officially have a competition. Two states very far apart but for most patriotic. Um, yeah, it's been great. It's here in a hotel lot, so not a whole lot around. So we stopped at a Panda Express, which Morgie's actually never had before. So we stopped there, got some grub, and um, it was good. Yeah? Yeah, good, it was good job, fine. Panda. It was good. It's, I don't know, what was it, the second one, not the orange chicken? Well, that was a sesame chicken. Sesame chicken needed a little more sauce. Not like sauce, like it was dry, but sauce is in like more spicy. Flavor, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But it was good, and yeah, so we're charging up here, and then next stop, Arizona. All right, so we're about to head back on the road. Honestly, these afternoon drives have been really hot. Really hot. Like the sun is over that direction. It's just beating down right through the windshield and it gets very hot as you're driving. So. I swear the sun is hotter <laughs> over here. Yeah. I don't know why, but like it's 54 degrees. It's cold out, but the sun is brutally hot. Mm. So I So I always put my sweatshirt on to walk as we're charging and then I have to take it off because otherwise I just sweat the whole time I'm driving for two and a half, three hours at a time. It's all really hot. So anyway, this charge was fifteen eighty four. So it's not too bad for the amount of time we sat here and we ate our lunch as we said. So we are all fueled up, our bodies and our car, and now we are going to Arizona. We had just charged up in um, Flagstaff, Arizona. 
Um, that charge was $21.73. Um, but now that we charge, we've been charging up to 90, which we usually do just 80. And um, it's honestly been helping us continue on our trip so much further than expected. And honestly, we skipped one the last leg, and now we're skipping over another one and going even closer to our destination of Las Vegas for this last charge for the day and for the trip out. So um, that's super exciting to see as we progress. And um, that supercharger back there, it was longer wait than I was expecting, honestly. I thought it was going to well, be 250s full. and it was full. It was, it was a 150. The whole time. It was full. Yeah. So, and but we charged a 9. We have like a travel buddy. Another Tesla is like following us stop to stop today. It's kind of funny. So she waved to me and that's Tour. We were supposed to go to Hendrix, but we were hungry and Morgan found an In-N-Out and we've been dying to try In-N-Out, so we did yes. that. And yeah. We had it, to. It was good. It was good. It was, I love the simplicity of their menu. Yes. That was really nice and relieving that you didn't have like to choose from 20 options. You had three options, double with cheese, single with cheese, or just a hamburger. Yep. So that was really nice and relieving. Um, it was good. Um, we'll do a full review on um, our Grubbin. Grove Grubbin page, so be on the lookout for that. And um, yeah, so we're here. I can't believe it. This is the second charger stop today that has 16, 16. superchargers. And 16. this is 250 kilowatts. Yeah, so this one's even better than the one before in... Where was it? Where were we? Arbuquer Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Yes. Albuquerque. So, um, yeah, so this is really cool. Also, another fun fact about this charger station is that there is not just a gift shop, but this is a museum, if you can read that up there, Six, Route 66 Museum. So, um, it's open till 3 o'clock on the weekdays, um, but unfortunately today it's closed already, of course, dark out, so way after 3 o'clock. We're done charging up. Um, again, last stop as we're heading to Vegas, so this charge was oh my gosh it's late and there's been so many numbers and so much driving this one was 1394 so that is the end of our Super trip exciting. going out and yes. onward to vegas Woo! 